guys, Jess Scarrett here and welcome to Surfing Australia TV. Coming to you from beautiful North Burley Beach on the Goldie where as you can see, it is an absolutely cracking day. We have a huge show planned for you. Take a look at what you can expect. Grommets from across Australia have been ripping it up all over the southern Gold Coast and northern New South Wales at the Wahoo Surf Camp for Girls. As the winners of the under 14 divisions of the Wahoo Surfer Groms Comps held around Australia, their prize was an all expenses training camp at the Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre at Casuarina in northern New South Wales. Let's take a look at how they went. The Wahoo Surfer Grums Camp is a great way to be with the other great grums around Australia and hang out and learn heaps and progress your surfing. Something you look forward to the whole year. Writing down calendar, oh the Wahoo's coming up, it's sick! It's for all the winners of the Wahoo Surf competitions in all the different regions around Australia. So we've got 10 of the best under 14 women in Australia. Every Wahoo comp there's always something to do for the little guys and whether it's playing cricket or chucking around the footy. Being able to have fun while you're a kid in like a comp situation is really good because most kids are really serious but all the games and stuff kind of bring it to a, like a really good balance. They're an awesome bunch this year, like they always are, but once again, really high level of surfing ability. Just good natured, good character kids coming through. We want them to have a really good time and an enjoyable experience. And the camp coinciding with the Quicksilver and Roxy Pro was awesome because we got to go down there and they took photos with you know Mick Fanning and all their favourite surfers. When the pros paddle out, it's very fierce, but then they, when they come in, they let you get a selfie. I grabbed one with Kelly and all the girls are just like, no way! The Wahoo toys are really great. They're so much fun. You know, you get to go out, hang out with your friends, play on them. I have so many at home, always take them down to the beach. Always just fun to have like a little present, I guess, for your hard efforts. I'm frothing. Overall, the Wahoo comps are amazing and the camp is so good. So good to get waves and hang out with friends and to learn heaps. Can't wait till next year. It isn't just about having natural ability. It's about unlocking your body's maximum potential. We believe through state-of-the-art scientific research and the most advanced athlete-tested product development, we will unlock the power to build the perfect athlete. Real athletes, real science, muscle farm. It's our first year, we're not even up and running for a year yet and um, yeah, we, we're really excited for the years to come because we, we, we just love it. I came up yesterday just supporting the team and there was so much team spirit. We had like 100 people here yesterday, it? like pretty much our whole town came, came down and supported. They got on the train from Colborra at 6.30 in the morning so, and just like all just came up and we were all down here yesterday. It was a shame that you know Tyler got hurt and we we lost out in the team's event. We definitely would have had a lot more people 
today, but you know, it just it's great, like the team spirit and like we were getting goosebumps yesterday. It was amazing. Like every, every wave, goosebumps, every cheer it was just so cool. Surfing in Australia is riding a new wave of support with the Subway Summer Surf Series. It attracts the best under 16 and under 18 year old surfers from right around the country and we're off to Victor Harbour in South Australia for Event 10. South Australia is stepping it up. It's so good to see. We've seen some amazing surfing today and we've got our judging system aligned with all the other states so we're really pushing the boundaries and ready to take some more Australian titles. I love hanging out with all the Groms and everyone's so excited so it was really fun. Oh it's amazing that Subway have backed it all the way and Surfing SA like just every, everyone's just been great and the whole event is just really cool. Oh, it's just so good that, that Subway comes along and helps out at these sorts of events and, and feeds the kids some really good food. I heard that he won and like with a dislocated knee, like not many people can ever say that, so hats off to him, he deserves it. Honestly it means a lot, like for an event like this, I wasn't expecting this sort of result. I just kind of went out and tried my hardest and paid off. To find out more, head to summersurfseries.com. The Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. Coaching for all surfers. Doesn't matter what level of surfing you're at, we've got coaching to cater for all abilities. It's not about us telling you how to surf. We listen to you and help improve your technique so that you enjoy your surfing more. Expert coaching, video analysis, surfing technique, strength and conditioning. Become a better surfer. Get online, book a camp at surfingaustraliahpc.com. Eight Vegemite surf groms were living the dream when they became VIP guests at the Quicksilver Pro on the Gold Coast. They were the winners of the Nikon Cool Picks comp where they had to submit a photo of themselves enjoying the Vegemite surf groms program. They were given the chance of a lifetime to tour the event site and hang out with the best surfers in the world. Let's take a look at the frothing grommies. I guess today it was cool to meet all the, the groms involved and they're all like decked out in their quickie clothes and they were given cameras and um, they all just had the biggest smiles on their face when they were walking through the contest areas and meeting all their favourite professional surfers. And yeah, it's just cool to see how happy they are in the water and um, yeah, surfing is just such a cool thing how it brings people together. And It's pretty important to have programs like this just to teach the kids like kind of beach safety and teach them surf etiquette and like that. I don't know, it's just good for them to learn the basics and uh, yeah, go from there. fun and you get to experience things that you've never experienced before. You learn to 
to get up on the wave and you get to, it's really fun when you surf the wave because you get that feeling that you're just going. My kids need to learn how to not just get up on a wave and surf, but how to learn how to be safe in the water, how to read the waves, how to um, know what to do out there um, if it doesn't get great and that's what, and I don't know that, but these guys are professionals and now my kids are so much more confident. The kids love it, they really enjoy surfing um, a lot of the younger ones tend to be a little bit anxious, but as soon as they get the feel of water, they're, they're into it. It's an incredible way to get started in a, you know, a safe, secure, you know, great way to learn the program. So, um, you know, it would have been terrific if it had been around when, when I was young. And I also think there's a, probably a very good chance that in the future, in the you know, Roxy and the Quicksilver Pro, years down the track, we'll see some kids who have come through the Vegemite Surf Groms program actually competing at this event. Introducing the all-new Kluger, Australia's latest and greatest place to raise a family. We went to the Pesquales this year and that was pretty psycho just because you're so far out away from everyone and stuff stuff goes wrong there if you've got a bit on your plate so it's pretty scary but I guess that's why we surf you know you go out and you surf a big wave you come in you're like I've done that so the next time you go out you want to surf a bigger wave. If we're hanging at the beach I'd rather be doing this than being in an office you know or a skate park you know like I don't think there's any better place than the beach and that's why everyone lives on the coast in Australia. Can't remember but I could imagine it not being too good. <laughs> Earlier we joined the girls at the Wahoo Surf Camp at the Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. Not to be outdone, the under 14 boy winners from the National Series were also put through their paces at their own intensive surf camp. Let's check out all the action. Wahoo Surfer Grum Camp is for all the kids who won a Wahoo event in their region all around Australia. The purpose of this is to have fun but also give them some guidance and show them the pathway to you know potentially becoming a world champion and that's what they want like we asked them they want to be world champions which is really cool. Instantly, like from the very start of that session, you guys showed a lot more intensity and consequently you guys actually got more strong two-turn waves. We're all competitive but in the water we all have fun. Yeah, it's sick. Just hanging up here with all guys from around the country. Just mad. No one meet some new guys and surfing with them, watch them all shred. Sick fun up here. I love the HPC. The water's always warm up here too, and the coaches are really friendly and nice, and they're always telling you what to work on. It's always good to come back, it's always a good experience. Like this year, we got the gym more, and yeah, it's, I love it here. <laughs> I always think about coming here, it's like a dream to just train here, just get better at my surfing, and 
just having fun with the boys. It's always a great time to come here. It's awesome, um, especially for the young guys getting to surf against, I don't know, Parco and Ace and stuff like that. It's, it's a good opportunity for them and, yeah, it makes them feel kind of special and part of the team and, yeah, it's, it's good. It's a real, real good event. The first wave I think I've caught was Waddy Goes, little Waddy Goes uh, on the point there when I was a grom, so that's kind of where I learned to surf, but besides that, standing on a booger when you're three, I don't think that counts, but... Oh, there's been a few. Sunset, Haliava, a couple of years ago. Um, it's pretty big days, got pretty, pretty rolled out there, but yeah, Hawaii scares me more than anywhere probably. The original source Australian Board Riders Battle gathered the best board riders clubs in the country and a highlight during the national final in Cronulla was the Milwaukee Heavy Duty Hack, which was presented to the surfer who could pull off the biggest power move. Time to check out some of the turns that went down. Australia's surf riding heroes grew up in board riders clubs and it's why. Our champions battled it out in Series 2 of the $120,000 Original Source Australian Board Riders Battle. More than 60 of Australia's best board riders clubs competed across eight state events, culminating in a national final at Cronulla, New South Wales on the Australia Day long weekend. Adding to the series high stakes was the Milwaukee Heavy Duty Hack Award, presented to the surfer who displays the biggest and best power move during the event be it dropping a heavy duty turn or hack, or even a Larry layback. So, let's check out the hack attack action from the national final. Yeah, you know, it's uh, I'm running a surf school back at home, you know, so it hurts to be away a little bit, but you know, this makes it a little bit sweeter. I didn't really expect two weeks ago to be up here, so yeah, to get to get a wild card and be able to show ourselves on this stage is, is amazing. The Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. Coaching for all surfers. Doesn't matter what level of surfing you're at, we've got coaching to cater for all abilities. It's not about us telling you how to surf, we listen to you and help improve your technique so that you enjoy your surfing more. Expert coaching, video analysis, surfing technique, strength and conditioning. Become a better surfer. Get online, book a camp at surfingaustraliahpc.com.
earlier in the show, we were in South Australia for the Subway Summer Surf Series. Time now to head to Cronulla in New South Wales for this huge national junior event. Final day of the Subway Summer Surf Series here at Cronulla. It is a beautiful day with the waves. We've got some fun waves up for grabs. The Subway Summer Surf Series is an awesome event. It's got great food and you know it just brings everyone together. It's all around Australia and you get to compete all like, with all the best surfers around. This is just like this perfect age where you know everyone really surfs well and we all come here to compete and like try win but it, at the end of the day we all learn. It's just the enjoyment so ripping against all the other competitors and showing what you got. It's real good comp, I love it. We see uh, that's a good top ten, wasn't it? Darren Meredith just using a lot of rail. Speaking of Dill and Moffatary is there in the red. Yeah, lovely tail shot. That's a nice section. Boom, straight up and into it. Slipping right off the tail, activating the rail, and whipping through those ones. Santa Whitaker. Just look at super loose there. Yeah, super just stoked because I eat this stuff every day. The more you surf in comps, I guess the more confidence you gain. I'm really happy to have won both the under 16s and the under 18s. Yeah. I love surfing, it's just really fun. You get to do what you want out in the water and it's a good feeling being in the water and being in the ocean and super stoked to take it out. It's, it's just the only format you're able to be part of a team, you know, and um, you know, getting tunnelled back up the beach is pretty awesome because you, know, you have your mates on tour, but they're not really your mates because they really want to just kick your ass. So it's really competitive. So it's they're stoked for you, but they're not really because we're such full-on competitors. That everyone wants to win. So, you know, you've got mates, but it's kind of like no one's really that stoked for you. But when you're with your club, everyone's really behind you and pumped, you know. It should be that way, you know. It should be you should be able to have like 17, 16 year old grommet up against the world's best like Joel and, and Ace, you know, it's it's pretty awesome. This, my friends, this is the world famous Bondi Beach. It's home to all the Bondi Rescue stars. And I'm about to meet a certain individual who spends all his time keeping this beach safe. Corey Oliver, nice to meet you, man. Nick, thanks for having me. My pleasure, mate. What do you love about Bondi? Australia's famous for its beaches, but more than anything, Bondi is probably the most famous here. And, and you know, the area is not just about Bondi. We've, it goes across other beaches, Tamarama, Bronte, Clovelly, Coogee, and then all the way down to Maroubra. And along that, there's, there's a coastal walk where you can walk the whole way and, and really enjoy the, the whole experience. Some good ways of Clovelly, just quiet ones. Yeah. Uh, Tamarama gets pretty good, Maruba gets really, really good. 100%, there's a lot of great ways for beginning and, and professional surfers. What would you recommend to anyone watching who wants to come in and have a swim who doesn't really know the ocean, what should they do? Come down, bring your sunscreen. You know the sun's quite harsh here in Australia. 
but we also want people to come and swim between the red and yellow flags. It's the safest place to be and that's where we keep an eye on most of the time. Well there you have it, so many unique and beautiful beaches to see in so little time. When you come to Bondi though, make sure you don't stop there, there's so much more of this beautiful coastline you've got to check out. This morning, my first heat, I had, to, I had an opportunity to surf against Kalani Ball, the under, under 18 Australian junior champion. And you know, usually on the tour, you're just surfing against, I guess, a lot of the same people, and I guess a lot of guys that are, are really high quality surfers. Where here, you get to mix in with everybody, and everyone's got, you know, a strong club. Some people have more depths than others, and, and all different. With a snapper, I'm so honoured to be a part of it, and, and it's like my family. But, you know, I guess this whole contest together really feels like a big brotherhood. Well, what a massive F of SA TV. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's awesome to have your company. For more info on anything that you've seen today, just head to our website and don't forget to hit us up on social media. I'm Jess Garrett and I'll see you next time for more Surfing Australia TV.